And you mentioned this torus shape. From what I understand, the torus, which is like a donut. And then I've also heard there's the horn torus, which is like an apple where it has dimple at the top and the bottom. And I've heard that our the structure of our universe is more like a horn torus. Would you agree with that? Well, it's different stages of the universal development. So the horn torus is, let's just say, from our perspective, the middle to final stage of the universe's evolution before the process starts again. Because as you know, it starts as a type of donut torus, yes? Mm -hmm. Begins to go into a spindle torus, and then finally goes into this type of seed-based torus, where it's almost as if there's a womb inside. Do you know what we're under referring to here? Do you understand this concept? Yeah. Yes, yes. Once that happens, your universe has actually birthed a new one inside of it. Mm. And in that way, it's like your universe is then pregnant. The idea is that once this occurs, once you have this womic geometry within the center of the torus, the womic geometry then expands back out. So it's almost as if the dimensions of the toroidal body are getting drawn towards a center point. Once they are in that center point, a pressure builds and a birth must then occur and your universe then births a new one. Now to you, it might look like the same old universe, but the types of guidelines are different. The types of universal laws are different. The laws of physics may change. The history may be different. Hmm. So yes, through your own alchemical process of merging opposites, your universe is doing the exact same thing. Hmm. And is this something that we are approaching this re new birth of the universe with as humanity is going through this evolution where, you know, we're kind Some of, of you have already been born and others of you are still in the womb. Mm. Yes. Yes. But together you are all birthing this new universe. Yes. Mm. The new universe is here and now for those that dwell in its vibrational resonant field. The old universe is here for those who dwell in the vibrational resonance field of the old. Both exist simultaneously. It just depends on which aeon do you wish to anchor into because both the aeon of Horus and the aeon of Ma'at are right here, right now. All things exist right here, right now. So it's up to you when you anchor into those things. That's determined by, of course, your relationship to whatever you describe your path of highest joy and passion to be. And this goes back to the idea that we are each our own source, our own universe. So exactly. Forming not... the experience of a collective one. Okay. So it is as if you are all the rulers of your own universes already. You are projecting on to earth so you can forget your true role to make yourselves once more humble. So you can then go through your lesson learnings and your refinements. The karmas you process in this lifetime are the karmas of your own universe. And as you perfect yourself on earth, your own universe that you eternally dwell in becomes even more reflective of your image and likeness.